doing? Hi YouTube! Hi YouTube! I was down to my box when I tied it. <laughs> yes, he has a box. Go on, then, go on quick. Unfortunately, he then sits in the box shouting, I'm hiding, mummy. Yeah. Yeah. So, today, so, we, we are going to get dressed, because we're not even dressed yeah. yet, because we're being lazy boos. Yeah, and we are going to go and buy somebody some new shoes. Yeah. Because These he came out to me yesterday and he went, mummy, look. Both of his shoes now look like that. Because my only problem is, is yeah. how the fuck am I going to get him to the shoe shop when he doesn't have any shoes because those were his last pair his sandals from last summer um he outgrew those and they fell apart as well and um you know he only he literally has those boots so i'm like uh i've got to figure out how to get him get off my chair please i've got to figure out how to get him to the shoe shop with no shoes and um, it's a no. half hour walk away well, for us well, we could so. get me to wrap to help. You want me to wrap you and carry you? I don't know if I can manage that today. I think we could. Uh, could we? Yeah. Yeah. Mwah. So, see you in a minute. Okay, so we will go and get dressed and then mwah, we'll we see. will update you on our progress. Yeah, well, we're out in the back. Out and about, right? Say bye then. Bye. bye. We've been scuppered slightly. Um, I was just quickly filming today. My boojo and my mother walked hi. in, <laughs> so um, I had a quick chat with her, and hi. then um, I phoned my daughter to talk to her about something, and um, I said, "Oh, we're going shoe shopping." Told her why, and she was like, "Oh, so you're coming over to ride then?" And I was like, "Um, well, I wasn't planning on it, but I can do." So instead of walking to the town next town over, which is half an hour away, we're actually going to go and catch a train, which is a half hour train journey. And shop where she lives instead. So hi, yeah. Um, so hi. So he's all ready hi. to go. Yeah, because I have a woody hat. He has his woody hat. I'm ready to go. I've got a face on. And uh, yeah, so we will possibly check in on the train. But it's a bit noisy. And I realised last time that you can't actually hear us on public transport very well. So yeah. I'm just looking. I've got all these little sticky help bits. Look. Try just give me a ticket. That's what he does. The train man give you a ticket. He doesn't, because I've got a train pass. Um, so if I can, we will update on the train. If not, we will update while we are shopping. See you later. Bye. So here we are at the train station. Hi. Hi. We are just going to go up Rob's house. We're going to Rob's house. Yeah. But we're just going to go that way and then that way. No, no, we're just going to go that way today, because we're not going back that way. Um, so yeah, that's the train track behind us. That's our platform, as you can see. It's very, very basic country style. Uh, train station. There is nothing. There is literally nothing to it. Hang on, I'll stand up so I can show you. That's it. That's where Wolf's house is. <coughs> and then there's houses right over there. And see. And then that's that's where you come up. You literally just come up onto the platform. There's a little shelter there you can stand in. No seats. And um, you buy your ticket when you get on the train. It's very very basic here. <laughs> Some people love it, some people hate it, some people wish it was a little bit more modernised, but yeah, there's no barriers, nothing Mom, I'm going to go up here. station and, um, when I go in for a Like, if you look down there, there's no fencing, really. You know, there's hedges behind these houses here, but there's no major huge fencing or anything like that. But we don't have people jumping on the tracks, we don't have all that kind of problem here. Um, it's like rail railway crossings where you can cross. It's literally, it'll be just a gate that swings shut behind you. And that's oh, it. I found that choo-choo. The choo-choo planted on there, yeah. yeah. It's, it's literally, it's just a gate that will swing shut behind you and that's it. Um, it's great. Very, very, um, I don't know, not naive, but yeah, but we're, we're about 30 years behind everybody else here. Track, <laughs> so, anyway. You might get hurt. Yeah, you mustn't jump on the track though, must you? Hmm. No. Because you might get hurt. That's it. Is Say it in a bit. Way? So we're in ride. Yeah. I met up with Hi, you two. <laughs> and there's our Hi. He's got new sandals on. If I can do it without falling off. There we go. You should have switched your camera. 
Do you like your new sandals? Yeah. Yeah? Are they nice? Yeah, they're really cool. They're really cool. They're really fast. Really fast, are they? Oh, that's cool then. So we're having a mooch in and out of shops and a wander around. And um, yeah, it's it's a beautiful day. Absolutely stunning. Just if you'd like to see the view from Ride High Street, that over there is, that's England over there, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. That's the beach over there. And that tower thing you can see is the Spinnaker Tower at Portsmouth. That is how close to the mainland we actually are. Okay, it takes about 15, 20 minutes on, well, it takes 10 minutes on the hovercraft and about, what's it, 20 minutes on the catamaran, isn't it? 20 25. Yeah, 20 minutes on the catamaran. So there you go. Isn't it pretty? So, we got Hi, off YouTube. the train a stop early. Hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Because We're Tesco's the park. is an equidistant from either train station. So it's a nicer walk if we get off at sundown because then we get to walk through the park and then we come out of the park and that's because you keep scuffing your feet and then Tesco's is like right there whereas if we got off at Lake we'd have to walk all the way through the village in the wrong direction essentially. So yeah, I'm going to go to Tesco's and get some dinner because Alex will be coming home from work in a bit and um, yeah beautiful day it's been really nice i've been out seeing my daughter today been really nice we've just mooched around a few shops but yeah i'm gonna show you the park this is the park if you haven't seen my other out and about video this is los altas park and it all looks like that it's all green then you've got this lovely tunnel of trees there to walk through and the park is in like can i show you to my oh you want to show you your ticket there you go there you go that's his ticket that the train man kindly printed off for him yeah um yeah the park is in three sections and it all looks like this. It's all green, it's all big. It's a real popular hit family. It used to be a land owned by a man whose surname was Drabbles, D-R-A-B-B-L-E-S. And uh, Mr. Drabbles, when he died, he left Los Altas Park to the people of Sandown in perpetuity. So the council can never ever build on this because it doesn't belong to them. It belongs to us, the residents of Sandown, which is fucking brilliant. And, um, but the council do take care of it. You know, they come out, they keep the grass cut. Um, they, uh, if there's any trees that need sorting out, they come out, they do all of that. Um, it's, it's such a beautiful park. In the summer, it's full of families, dog walkers, all of that lot. Um, there's, um, well, stop scuffing your feet. You won't keep getting stuff in your shoe. Um, every, every year, there's a, like a party in the park. Type thing. Years and years and years ago, Radio Yo. One used to do party in the park here. And uh, now we have like a, a fun day thing for charity. Um, that's done here. Um, and in the winter, the kids all come down here with trays and toboggans and all that lot because the next section along has got like a big slope. And it's great fun in the winter because you can just get on a tray and zoom down the hill. It's loads and loads of fun. But I'll show you the next section in a minute because we're actually going to walk through the whole thing. Let's get to this end of this path of trees you come to the sort of break between one section and another Mom, and yes. um Let's hang, go on. That way. hang on yeah there's a little path here <gasps> well look at that that's my son Coyle. that's my oldest son <laughs> so um yeah and then if you, you've got like a little path which goes that way okay but and this is what i was telling you guys earlier that's a crossing over the railway right just a little literally that is it a little gate and you can cross over there walk down some steps and you go for another gate no lights no nothing just uh you know watch out for the trains sign um hang on there you go, there's a sign that says, warning, do not trespass on the railway, penalty £1,000. Stop, look and listen, beware of trains. And that is hazardous. And that's pretty much it. And then you walk into this bit, and this is the bit with the hills. And I'll show you that bit there. So this is the middle section. Hi, you do. And it's not a huge, huge hill, as in it's not really steep, but it's steep enough that in the winter, when there's snow, it does not make an impressionable slide. So there's a couple up there having a nice little picnic or, you know, whatever it is 
that they're doing. So we won't focus too much on that. But yeah, it's ideal. I can see two magpie. So that's one sorrow, two for joy. That's always good. That's always good. But, oh, I don't know how well you can see it, but it's like littered with daisies. And... Oh, and apparently we're playing hide and seek. And that area there is like a runoff reservoir during very wet weather. Um, it tends to flood a little bit here. So they came out and got some, you know, country experts, don't go down there, to um, build this. And it's a drainage point, basically. Uh, when there's too much water, it all drains down into here, off the hill, and build that. It makes a lovely wee pond. No, because it's still wet. Yeah, it makes a lovely wee pond. It's great. We've even had ducks and that nesting out here, but they didn't last long because there's a lot of foxes in this area. So that's the whole thing up to that hedge there and then you're in the third section and this is section three this is also this is the narrowest one here's literally like that's like about 20 foot 30 foot across i don't know i'm not very good at that kind of thing there, there goes daryl chasing her just a bird wave <laughs> there you go <laughs> i love how they're always so disappointed when something flies away so yeah, that's a smaller version. It's probably about a third of section two and three. But yeah, I mean, look at that, isn't that beautiful? I love it. Oh, somebody's collie there. It's a beautiful collie. Look at that. Oh, stunning dog. Mom. Mom, uh, yeah. I love this park. I'd spend quite, Mom, I, I always you're... walk through this park. If I'm going into Sandown, I will walk through this park because it is just beautiful, you know? And it's so, so quiet. You wouldn't believe that just, well, Can't just there's a train track. I'm not But we only literally have one train line on the island. And then you see that house down there? There's a main road between us and that house. So, yeah. But oh, it's just, it's so beautiful here. So, so calm and relaxing. It's like during the really, really hot weather, I could quite happily spend the day. I could bring a pat lunch and a book and just sit up here quite happily, you know. That would just be, oh, that would be heaven. I'd have to bring a chair though, because I don't, I get pain, back, back pain if I sit on the ground. So yeah, I'd have to bring a collapsible chair, knitting, and an audio book, and some lunch. God, you know what, I might have to do that. I might have to do that before Daryl breaks up for, for the summer holidays. And just, yeah, catch some sun. That would be lovely. Here he comes. Yeah. You worn out yet? Yeah. Yeah? You sure? I went on rolling. Go on, do it again. <laughs> Daryl loves the park too. Because it's just, you can run about up here without worry about anything. You know, most of the dogs that come up here, are either kept on a lead or they're like that collie back there they're only interested in chasing a ball um there's a couple that come up here that can be a bit there's one woman she's got no control over a dog and i had a right fucking go at her a year or two ago but she had a right arsehole opinion about it but there you go that's beside the point so, there we go it's <laughs> we nearly lost him the exit to the park and this little road here in front of me is just a little road to all the houses that are at the side of the park. And then that road's there. And that's the main road through the village where I live. Train track goes over the top. And this is probably about as busy as it gets. Maybe gets a little bit busier. Um, sometimes the traffic gets backed up if it's stupidly busy. Uh, yeah. And Tesco's Express is, hang on. Tesco. Tesco's. I don't know if you can see that bus shelter, but it's opposite that bus shelter just behind these, uh, well, just under the bridge, on the other side of the bridge. Uh, this is Tesco's. It's yeah. little Tesco's Express. It used to be a pub. And um, the pub got sold and Tesco's bought it. They had to keep the original yeah. outer shell of the lower part. <laughs> and then they built the upper part, but they've kept all the frame of the building. It's a nice little store. It's ideal for us. It used to be a co-op, but of course when Tesco's open, co-op pretty much a bust here in Lake. So, so this is Lake. Um, the co-op used to be just here on the right, but it got shut down a few years ago and the building's been empty since then. 
Um, we've got two Chinese takeaways, an Indian, uh, kebab, fish and chips, because you know, this is England. Um, what else we got? We've got doctor surgery there. Um, there's a yarn shop next to the, in between the two Chinese places actually. Um, then there's the Indian, the kebab, then we've got a pharmacy. And then there's a charity shop down the end. And that's pretty much oh, it. The oh yeah, there's a solicitor's place. Yeah, there's a moon up there. Um, the solicitor's place. Oh, we've got a tattoo studio. That only opened recently. And that's pretty much it. The Lake Village stops. At the second set of traffic lights. The ones that are red at the moment down there. And that's it. That is... No, we're not having Chinese. And that's pretty much where the village stops. I'm exhausted. Absolutely shattered. The dog... Wait. Is extremely pleased to see me. Are you pleased to see me? Are you? Oh, no, apparently it entails going outside. So yeah. Um, yeah, I'm home. I'm knackered. Absolutely shattered. And I was quite surprised because I got a green dashboard today and I wasn't going for one. Uh, there we go. Um, right. I hope you enjoyed this uh, shoe shopping and a day out with Hi, my YouTube. kids. And um, Hi, YouTube. we're going to go now, aren't we? So what do we say? Put your thumbs up. Put your thumbs up. And no fishing No, leave us. What do we like? Comments. We like comments. If Please. you click the book, you'll be subscribed. And if you hit the bell down there somewhere, and leave us. you'll be a notified copy. when I upload new content. YouTube willing. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Yeah. And, um, and leave us a comment. Leave us a comment. Yes. Yeah, and uh, I'll see you all later on. Say bye. Bye.